friends today we are going to talk about a common issue that has been debated over several years and that is is medicine a science or art today all of us have agreed that it is possibly not just a science or not just the art but a combination of the two but the debate continues whether one is more dominant than the other but today we know that it has to be a very harmonious marriage between the science and art that is required to come out with excellence and rationality and hence let's give a thought to what this science means and what this art means and how to get them together to harmoniously work for the benefit of the patient well to begin with let me tell you what science really means before going to what medical science means a science relates to the study of physical world and natural laws but in medicine there are no natural laws whatsoever medicine is so variable in fact sir william osler more than 120 years ago said that medicine is a science of uncertainty and an art of probability he mentioned that the science is uncertain when it comes to medicine and today friends with tremendous fastly advancing science and technology even then his statement continues to be true even today and that is the limitation of science but let me tell you medicine as a science is a very touching science what do i mean by a touching science it involves the understanding caring reassuring healing and so many important things that's why i called it a very touching science and that is the one more reason why we all doctors must give a very good thought to this touching science in spite of a scientific limitations well we know that the science has limitations as medicine because there are too many variables and the patients often worry why the diagnosis and the treatment has been right but the performance and outcome has not been good because there are too many variables when a teacher teaches a class of 30 students not everyone understand the same and one may fail the other may excel do you blame the teacher for it probably no but here if out of 100 if five patients don't come out with a desired outcome then the doctor is blamed we must make clear to patients as well as to ourselves that medicine is a science of uncertainty but there is an art of probability we can even then succeed and to succeed we need to marry science with art and i will dwell with it as we go on along with this but friends the science is advancing so fast that it's impossible to keep updating in fact we need to prioritize what area of update we would use most in our routine practice and i think that is important to select updating in fact it is said that if you are not keeping updated check your pulse you may be academically dead but the advancing science is going so fast that you have to run twice as fast to find that you have remained at the same place and friends today we all know that more i know more i also know how less i know and that is what the science of medicine is it's ever changing difficult to keep updated and finally uncertain because of too many variables i do not know how the patient will respond to my correct treatment therefore it also depends on the patient himself but finally i am responsible as a doctor and therefore i must do the best by using also the art of practice well when while science treats the body the art of practice treats the mind and this art has a many other issues to discuss william osler said use the art of probability that means you always think what is most probable if it is not so then think what is less probable 
and only thereafter you think what is impossible because even impossible is possible in medical practice. That is art of probability. But we are discussing two other issues of art of medical practice. One is an art of clinical bedside medicine. I am very sorry to say that it is fastly disappearing because we are enamored by the modern technology and we feel that the modern technology will answer every bit of what we would have known only by clinical skills. But friends, be sure that you will not be able to replace clinical skills with any type of advancement in technology. Even artificial intelligence that is threatening to come will not destroy our needs of being med active medical practice and therefore the art of clinical bedside medicine is extremely important and we have to get back to where we started learning and use the modern technology on the top of it and I am sure that 90% of the problems do not need a high-end medical technology but we seem to be using them first even before the clinical skills. That is the art of clinical medicine. But there is far more important art and that is the art of humane behavior. We humans must behave humanely. What does it mean in medical practice? Two important things. We must develop empathy and compassion. Empathy is not sympathy. Sympathy is at the spinal level and very superficial. But empathy is at the cortical level. That means I must understand what patient must be feeling about his disease, about his likely outcome. And compassion is one step beyond, which means you not only feel what patient must be feeling about, but you also try to think what way you can help him to get over his ordeal of a serious disease. And that is compassion. Besides, of course, the empathy and compassion, you have to be very ethical in practice. And you have four major pillars of medical ethics. That is beneficence, non-maleficence, privacy and justice. Which means do no harm while do good and respect his personal beliefs and give him a justice. Besides that, of course, honesty, transparency, accountability, responsibility, several virtues that we must use all the time. And if I have to really summarize all this, I would say that we must use holistic care. What is holistic care? The human beings as we are, are endowed upon by nature four important virtues. One is use of brain, heart, mind and soul. How does it translate into medical practice? Brain is knowledge. We need to be updated in knowledge and science in spite of it being uncertain and really not complete. But more than just brain, of course the brain and knowledge is very important, but the heart. heart relates to compassion. And then the mind. Mind means a commitment. I commit to do my best. And then I address the mind of a patient also. And you know today science has proved that it's the mind of the patient. If he is calm, if he is confident, if he has a faith in his doctor, his disease gets better much faster. So what is our motto finally? Care always, cure if possible. I must end by telling you that patients don't care how much you know, but they want to know how much you care. Well, friends, let's start marrying art and science harmoniously together and continue to deliver efficient care, do excellence and rationality. You need to think about this. Thank you very much. The next episode will be a very different one and its title is the changing trends, a challenge to the already trend. I hope you will join us for that too. Thank you.